Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, right triangle uh, ABC. As you can see in this given diagram, such that uh, its side length uh, AB length uh, is uh, 23 units, whereas uh, the side uh, BC length uh, is uh, unknown. And likewise, uh, this hypotenuse uh, AC length uh, is uh, unknown as well. And bear in mind that all these uh, side lengths are uh, positive uh, integers. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of uh, this uh, triangle ABC. And we are going to calculate uh, the perimeter uh, of this uh, triangle uh, as well. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step. Let's focus once again on this uh, right triangle ABC. And since we are interested in calculating the area and the perimeter of this uh, triangle ABC and the only side length uh, of this triangle is uh, this side known. So therefore we are going to calculate uh, this unknown side and this unknown side uh, as well. And now I'm going to label this uh, hypotenuse as lowercase c. I'm going to label this uh, known side as lowercase a and this unknown side as uh, lowercase b. And once again, bear in mind that these uh, lowercase b and lowercase c value are our positive integers. Now let's recall the Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square. And here in our case, our hypotenuse is uh, lowercase c, whereas our two other legs are lowercase a and lowercase b. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. So we got a value as uh, 23 square plus uh, b square equal to c square. Let's simplify. 23 square is going to give us 529 plus uh, b square equal to c square. Let's move this b square on the other side. So therefore we are ended up with the c square minus b square value equals to 529. I'm going to label this one as our equation number one. And now let's recall the famous identity a square minus b square could be written as uh, a plus b times uh, a minus b. In other words, the difference of two square is equal to the products of uh, the sum uh, and the difference. And we are going to apply this identity on the left hand side uh, of this equation. So therefore, uh, this could be written as uh, c plus b times uh, c minus b is equal to 529 and now let's make an observation we can see that uh, we got uh, two factors uh, on the left hand side so therefore uh, this right hand side could be broken down into two factors as follows first one is going to be 1 times uh, 529 the second uh, factor is uh, 23 times uh, 23 and finally the last factor is going to be 529 times uh, 1. So we got these uh, three possible scenarios and now we can see that this uh, c plus b value must be equal to c minus b value. In other words uh, c plus b must be greater than c minus b. So that means uh, this is uh, not feasible. This is not feasible as well. And this is uh, yes indeed since uh, this uh, factor is uh, larger than this factor. So therefore we could write uh, c plus b times uh, c minus b is going to be equal to 529 times uh, 1. 
So therefore we conclude uh, that our C plus B value is going to be 529 and our uh, other value C minus B is going to be equal to 1. I'm going to label this one as our equation 2 and this is our equation uh, 3. And now we are going to add these two equations. Here we can see this positive B and negative B. They are gone. So therefore we are ended up with uh, 2 times uh, C equals to 530. And now we are going to divide both sides uh, by 2 to isolate uh, C. So therefore we could see that our C value simply turns out to be 265 units and since we figured out our C value as 265 we are going to substitute that C value in this equation to 265 over here so therefore we could write 265 plus B equals to 529 and now we are going to subtract 265 from both sides this is gone so therefore our lowercase b value simply turns out to be 264 units so thus our b value turns out to be 264 and c value is 265 units and now we are going to calculate the perimeter of this triangle we know the perimeter is the sum of all these three side lengths of this triangle so therefore the perimeter is going to be side length 23 plus the side length 264 plus the hypotenuse length 265 and if we add these numbers that is going to give us 552 units the perimeter and finally now we are going to calculate the area of this triangle ABC as well and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area is always equal to a half times uh, the base uh, times the height of the triangle and in our case uh, the base of this triangle uh, is uh, 264 whereas uh, the height of this uh, triangle is uh, 23 so therefore uh, the area of this uh, triangle is going to be a half uh, times the base is uh, 200 uh, 64 times height is 23 and if we multiply and simplify that is going to give us 3036 square units the area of this triangle so thus the area of this triangle turns out to be 3036 square units and the perimeter of this triangle is 552 units as well and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to Subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.